Hey, welcome back everyone. This uh, video will have to go out to all the guys and girls and everyone who's involved in the Matchbox and the Hot Wheels and the Johnny Lightnings and the Hot Rod cars. I've been collecting uh, cars off and on for years and I've, um, I really enjoy making these videos and watching other people's creations. Uh, this video is about mail calls and uh, mailboxes and trades. So um, I've sent out a lot of uh, boxes to different people. And there are a lot of guys work out there I really admire that I think do outrageous work. I can't list them all. But of course everybody knows uh, Bare Metal Hot Wheels, Bare Metal HW, uh, Paul Restore from Poland. I mean the list can go on and on. But I have two mailboxes uh, today to show you, and they're, it's, they're pretty amazing because one is from the furthest mailbox call I've ever gotten in my life. And it comes from, here's the package, and it comes from Barton-upon-Humber, England, the UK. And the gentleman who sent it to me is Saul's Diecast Odyssey. So Saul is uh, new. I mean, I'm not too uh, too long in, in, in with this channel, but Saul has 192 subs and 6,101 views. He's in the UK, and uh, he's a very nice guy. So he sent me this package here, and the fact the stamp on it has a picture of the Queen. I think that's the Queen anyway. Don't hold me to it. But I think customs went through it because there is a slit here and it was retaped. But Saul sent me this outrageous car and it really is a cool car. It's uh, the Passing Gasser from 2000, and, I think it's 2008. Now I don't, ha I don't have this car, I could never find this car anywhere. But um, Saul sent it to me as a gift. And the, I'll repeat myself again, this is the furthest mailbox call I have ever gotten. And it's from England. And I, I wanna, uh, if, you don't, if you don't know Saul's uh, channel, uh, look it up. It's Saul's Diecast Odyssey. And he's, he's got some pretty good, um, good cars on there and good openings. So that was the first one from the farthest away. So we'll put that to the side. Now... If you don't know, uh, a channel called Bootleg Custom Shop. Now, Bootleg Custom Shop uh, also has unbelievable videos. He's he's uh, one of a kind. He does not follow anybody else's uh, videos. He he has his own style. Um, I can't talk about enough about it. He has 416 subs, 95,415 views. Now, if, if you have to check him out. It's, uh, it's first of all, the, the second, this is the, not the biggest box I ever got. I'm so grateful for this box, but it is the heaviest mail call box I ever got. Now, stick with me in just a second. If you go to Bootleg Custom Shop, you'll see a couple of videos that are my favorite. One is called A New Cadillac for Big Al. Very, a great video. Then JFK Limo Builds, which anybody can do. Another favorite of mine. Uh, Valentine's Day Massacre. Valentine's Day Massacre. Also a great one. So... Let's open his his box. This is the heaviest box I ever got. So this is amazing to me of how much stuff um, boot, uh, Bootleg Custom Shop sent to me. So we start off with an airbrush kit. Now, I've never used one, but this will be the first one I'm going to be using to not use rattler cans anymore. And then... He's into dioramas and scenery, and he writes on here, diorama, diorama greens, awesome. So we didn't even get into a car yet, and this car, this is like 
awesome to me. This is a, a huge, something totally different. I would never buy this for myself. I think it's outrageous. So then he has um, a 57 Chevy. This car would, this car is, is uh, awesome just the way it is. It's a uh, 2000, and I think it's 18. Oh, again, unbelievable. And then we have a 02 Chevy Avalanche with great graphics. That's a, a matchbox. And he gives some different color tapes. Now this is pretty cool because he, in his diorama, I have to make a diorama just for for Bootleg's custom shop because he makes, you have to check him out. He makes some outrageous videos. Totally different than what you're used to seeing in collecting cars. Markers. I guess here it is. Big Mike's Hot Rod Shop. So, I guess this is a start. Oh, check this out. He acts, This is how this guy, this guy builds stuff. He actually made a shop for me. Big Mike's Hot Rod Shop. So, I'm going to... I'm going to finish this off with some hot rods, some rat rods. This is, this guy's great. And then, so he's got fresh metal. This is another Ford. And then he's got Cootie King. It's, it's just like a gasser. I am huge into gassers. So this, this is, an, this easily make a nice gasser. Uh, okay, so then he has uh, American flag stickers, decals, which I'm a junk artist. And right here in front of you is my junk art American flag. But that's on another video. But he's got some American flags in here. Wow, very cool. Okay. Got some loose cars. A van, super cool van with the bubble window. This is um Bedford CF van, 160 scale. And then this is a 68 Ford Mustang. I would never find this one. This is this is this is a 4x4 lifted Mustang already. Something that you would customize yourself and do. Done by Matchbox. So he has an OOCL tractor trailer. And I was telling you in the beginning, this was the heaviest mailbox I've ever gotten. Another car. A Matchbox Renault Turbo. Awesome. So you get some paintbrushes and Sharpies. We're still not at the bottom of the box. Okay, so this, I guess, I've seen him using this. You attach the car to it and you keep it at a distance from you when either painting or removing the glue. Some more loose cars. Getty One. Hot Wheels. Camaro Z28. With the Getty on it. This is an unbelievable color. Now I've seen this car. And I have one. But I have it in brown. I've never seen this. This is the Oldsmobile Cruiser. The wagon. 1971. I've never seen it in this color. I am, I'm not going to change this one. I'm going to keep it the way it is. Convertible. Oh, it's from Spongebob. I've been watching 22 years of Spongebob. Because my son was a huge fan. Still a huge fan of Spongebob. This is a Spongebob convertible. Just, just awesome car. Another roll of tape. And what do we have here? Hot Wheels Custom 72 Chevy Love Truck also could be could, could be considered as a gasser with the 
engine sticking through. Okay, he's got this wrapped up. This is nice, too. This is a Hot Wheels Scorchers 79. This might be an Evil Knievel car. I'm not sure. This might be the Evil Knievel Canyon car. I could be wrong, but it looks like it. There's still more in the box. Okay, this is all material. Mad Max parts. Unbelievable. Screens to make the Mad Max effects. Dowels. Rocket parts. Alter Ego. Very cool car. I don't have one. I've seen it on the, sh on the shelves. This is another Hot Wheels art car. Alter Ego. And then... The 68 Dodge Dart, which is also a, a 50s anniversary car, mint on the card. There's a few of them. This, this is also a nice car. And then we got here, Mike. More stuff for your shop than cars here. Hope it's useful. <clears throat> useful. And in here is... Uh, Sandpaper and, and polishing cloths. All this stuff would be uh, used. Let me see. And then he has a letter here. Hold on. So this basically is a Matchbox selector chart. Which I have a ton of Matchboxes. So this is a, this is a cool chart to have, really. So we finally hit the bottom of the box, I and mean, this is an unbelievable heavy mail call box. I can't thank you enough. I have to get to work on making this, making this garage, and putting it together. So I, also, uh, if you if you haven't gone to Rap Rap Black's diecast. He had, he's the owner of a black 55 Chevy, which is awesome. Just turns the key and starts. Rat Black has 225 subs, uh, 13,767 views. Very cool guy. Has a very uh, awesome collection of, of cars I've, I've never seen. He sent me in the past uh, some great gassers. So everybody out there in the community, I, I think everybody, super cool guys, super cool people. And um, again, I wish everybody a happy Father's Day. In the beginning of this video, you'll see some, um, you do see some boxes on a, on a wall. And that's my mom's house. And those are what they called old dye boxes that they used to, printers used to put dyes in. It's an art that's, I think it's totally gone. And um, some of those cars in, in those boxes are like 50 years old, 60 years old. Some of them are from Coney Island, Brooklyn, where my mom and dad used to go years ago. My mom still lives in Brooklyn. But that's, uh, there's, no, there's not much talking in them. I just wanted to tell you what those uh, boxes on the walls with all the cars are at. I, have a, I keep a little collection there. Okay, so thanks for watching. God bless. If you're sticking around to this part of the video, I still have the 60 construction vehicles or 70 construction vehicles on a trade. If you're interested, please stop by Saul's Diecast Odyssey's channel as long as well as Bootleg's Custom Shop. You're going to see some videos there. The Valentine's Day Massacre video is awesome. And Rap Black's Diecast. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this mail call as much as I did. And um, have a great Sunday tomorrow. Be safe and God bless. Mike Espo.